New information today, a Huntsville man was found guilty of capital murder for shooting his toddler. You're looking at video of Lionel Francis headed back to the Madison County Jail. He was emotionless, even shrugged his shoulders when we asked about the jury's verdict. Way 31 Sidney Martin was at court today after the nearly week-long trial ended. Dan, the jury deliberated for about four hours this afternoon and even examined the gun that was used to kill the, the toddler. Now this afternoon they delivered a guilty verdict. Francis will be back in court next week for his sentencing hearing. Francis's defense tried to argue he accidentally shot his 20 month old daughter when he was inside the home with the child's mother, who is now his ex girlfriend. She took the stand and testified about the 2016 shooting, saying it was not an accident and happened after a fight. Prosecutors say when he shot the toddler in the head, it was evil and no accident. The toughest part for me to get over and for a jury, I think to probably get over, was just the acceptance that somebody could be so evil in this particular case. The jury agreed with the prosecution that the shooting was intentional and found him guilty of capital murder. Now he will either be sentenced to life in prison without parole or the death penalty. The sentencing phase of this trial starts Tuesday morning. The sentencing phase will be like a mini trial where both sides can call witnesses to testify. Then they will be tasked with offering the judge a suggestion for what they think that Francis should be sentenced to. Live in Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. Thanks, Sydney. In this case, the jury's decision is only a recommendation. The judge has the final say. This isn't true for all death penalty cases in the state. On her first day in office in 2017, Governor Kay Ivey signed a bill that said the judge can no longer overrule the jury and give someone the death penalty. And since Francis's case happened before 2017, the judge still has that option.